All right, now for our new weekly Friday segment where we dive into some of the top headlines this week and reports are swirling about former royals Harry and Meghan. Back in September, they allegedly asked if they could fly back to the U.S. with President Biden on Air Force One after Queen Elizabeth's funeral. But the White House allegedly denied that request, apparently worried it could cause some negative publicity, if you will. But according to New York Magazine, the story just is not adding up, saying logistically it wouldn't make sense for Harry and Meghan to hitch a ride to D.C., then catch another flight to their home in the L.A. area. So joining me now for the scoop is News Nation senior story editor Paula Froelich. Paula, I'm so excited uh, to start doing this segment here. So we're oh. starting with Harry and Meghan. People yes, either love are. them or hate them. Uh, so let's just start with this uh, alleged request to ride on Air Force One. Allegedly denied. Is this true or false? I believe it's true. Oh. Because first of all, they would have gotten a heck of a photo op. Can you imagine? Biden, Jill Biden, Harry, Meghan, walking down the steps. That would have been their dream photo op. And, and by them, you mean Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan. Okay. But it would not have been for the Bidens because they're worried about angering the royal family. Mm -hmm. Because, you know... Britain is our biggest compadre. Yeah. And we can't make we can't make enemies with them. And then they would have been like, no, because they're mad at Harry and Meghan because they have sat there and dished on them and made around a hundred million dollars doing so. Which between you and me, Nicole, I might dish on my family for a hundred million. I mean, million. listen. But you know, so they do a hundred million, they dish, they do the dirt, and now the family is not really talking to them. Mm -hmm. So other people are having the talk, not being able to talk to them. And here is the scoop. Okay. You are not going to believe this. So you know, we've all been in that situation where we have people blow smoke up our nose. Okay. And they're like, you're so great. It's a nice way to put it, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and every now and again, we believe them because they just Don't blow so right. much. You're inundated. And Harry and Meghan believed it. Okay. And they believed it so much that they moved to Hollywood. Yes. Where they thought they would be welcomed with open arms. Mm -hmm. I mean, Oprah right. gave the interview, yes. right? They're neighbors with Oprah. But you'll notice that Oprah did not invite them to her birthday party this year. Oh. And none yeah. of their neighbors, who are real famous producers and actors, aren't inviting them over either. And the sad thing is, they're not doing it because of money. Okay. Because everyone's got a movie to sell or a Broadway play that they want to bring over to London. Right. And they know that Prince William and Kate, who are the biggest gets in England, aren't going to show up if they're besties with Harry and Meghan. All right. So now no one's hanging out with them. It's actually kind of sad. So, the, so they may have overestimated their popularity. There are also mm -hmm. some rumors that the two of them may be on the rocks, right? Because Harry's planning to go spend some time in Africa. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll be real honest with you. Okay. I don't think I would expect nothing less, Paula. I don't think they're on the rocks yet. Okay. And that is a big yet. Okay. You know, I used to give this advice to the kids I used to babysit for back in the day. And the advice was, if it's forever, it doesn't have to happen right now. True. And I get that you're madly in love and all this stuff and yay, happy for you. But if you're going to marry someone for the rest of your life, you might want to give it more than a year to see. And they didn't. So who knows? I am sure there's a lot of tension in that household right now. Okay. They just are getting it from <laughs> well, all sides. Well, I feel sides. like you're not helping with the tension in that household right now, Paula. Girl, I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> all right. I mean, I can't help it. No, you're right. Listen, you know, I'm here to inform school. you and tell you're you what my people are telling me. <laughs> and, you know, so I'm sure there's a little bit of tension. And he's going to go to Africa, which he yeah. loves, mm -hmm. but he's going to go by himself. And Which so there's going to be some time away. Yeah. I mean, they do have two small kids, though. So and you know what? Fine. Absence yeah. makes the heart grow fonder, Nicole. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. All right, we're going to Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.